What is your potential merchant account provider going to be looking for to issue you a merchant account so that you can accept credit cards on your website? Hi, I'm Robert Proctor, and for the last 20 years, I've been involved in the launch of over a thousand network marketing companies. Unfortunately, today, only 10% of them are still in business. I want to give you the tips and tools that you need to know to launch your company, keep your company in business, and grow your company. I hope you get some value from this. So, what is it that a merchant account company is going to be looking for before they'll give you the ability to accept credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express on your website? Well, the first thing, they're going to be looking for a website. I talk to a lot of clients that before they even have their website, they want to start calling a merchant account provider thinking that they're going to get a merchant account. It'd be like me wanting to open a store and convincing a merchant account provider, I'm actually going to open a store, hire some employees, turn on the electricity, run a business. Nobody's going to give you a merchant account before you've actually got a website. So it's critical that you've got your website up and running. What else are they going to be looking for? They're going to be looking for real products or services. Merchant account companies these days in network marketing are very intelligent. They know what's good products, they know what's good services, and they also know what to look for that they're not going to give a merchant account to. If you're selling physical, tangible, shippable products, good chance you're going to be able to get a merchant account. If you're selling a membership club, if you're selling services that may or may not be delivered online, you may have a tough time getting a merchant account. So make sure that your products and services provide value to the end user, the consumer, the customer, the distributor. These are things that your merchant account provider is actually going to look for when giving you the ability to accept credit cards. Um, the compensation plan. They're going to want to see on your website your compensation plan. They want to see that there's an actual compensation plan that one, doesn't require the purchase of products to join or participate in your business opportunity. That's called a pyramid scheme and I know you want to avoid that. You want to make sure that your comp plan rewards distributors, rewards people that are getting involved for the first time, and rewards your heavy hitters down the road, but you do not require the purchase of a product. You also want to make sure that that comp plan is easily understood by the merchant account provider, that it's not an overly technical document. They're going to look at it simplicity from your distributor standpoint and your customer standpoint. Is the compensation plan easily understood? What else are they going to be looking for? I'm just going to put TNCs. They're going to be looking for terms and conditions on your website. What are the terms of joining? What are the, ter what are the conditions of staying a customer or staying a distributor? Um, terms and conditions can vary company by company. This is one thing that you may not want to just use a boilerplate document that's out there. This is one of those times you may want to actually consult with an MLM consultant or even consult with uh, an attorney in the industry that's familiar with multi-level marketing companies. What else are they going to be looking for? Just going to make it simple. They're going to be looking for policies and procedures. These are documents that I'm not going to go into the construct of the document and what should be in it, but they're going to be looking for policies and procedures about joining your opportunity, staying involved in the opportunity. Can you join other business opportunities? Is there a requirement to sell the product? Is there a requirement to, sell, to, to buy the product? What are you allowed to say about the company? What aren't you allowed to say about the company? Again, these are things that your merchant account provider is really going to focus on. Do you have these things on your website? Here's something really important. They're going to be looking for a privacy policy. Privacy policy basically says when you collect information from customers and distributors, what do you do with that information? Do you resell that information? You know, if you look at some big companies out there these days, I won't say them by name, a lot of companies that you buy products from or social media groups that you join, if you read those privacy policies, you're going to find out they're selling your data to third party companies. Believe it, it's happening. Your merchant account company, because you're accepting credit cards and you're collecting data, personal information, they're going to want to make sure that your privacy policy is strong and that you're protecting your customers and protecting your distributors. So they're going to be looking for that privacy policy on your website. What else are they going to look for? They're going to look for a spam policy. They want to know how you're going to communicate with your distributors and your customers. Are you sending emails? Are you sending text messages? Do you have robocalls? 
How is it that you're contacting, communicating with your distributors and your customers? They want to see this information. It's really important when they're looking at, are they going to give you the ability to accept credit cards, to have a merchant account? You know, watch my other videos that talk about why you need a merchant account, how you could actually lose your merchant account, because being able to take credit cards is not optional in today's e-commerce industry. I've seen companies that got merchant accounts and lost them because of simple violations of these policies like this. Believe me, you don't want to be in that situation where today you can take money and tomorrow you're out of business because you can't take money. It's scary when it happens. What else are they going to be looking for? They're going to be looking for a cancellation policy. When your distributors want to cancel and not be part of your opportunity anymore, is there a method for them to cancel? They're going to be one looking for a refund policy. When your customers or distributors buy your products from you, and if they haven't opened them, there should be able to be a way to return those products. A lot of companies only will pay back 10, 90%. They'll actually keep 10% as a restocking fee. But I can guarantee you that every merchant account company out there is going to be looking to see, do you have a refund policy in place on your website? Next thing, do you have an auto ship policy? The most successful companies in network marketing today are successful because they have monthly recurring billing. And being able to build a residual income as a company, not only as a distributor, but as a company, residual income of getting a committed amount of month, uh, money per month is very important to the success and the ongoing growth of your company. Your merchant account company is gonna to wanna to know, do you have an auto ship policy in place telling distributors and customers when they're gonna be billed, how much they're gonna be billed for, and how do they cancel that auto ship policy or cancel their auto ship if they don't want it anymore. Here's another thing they're going to be looking for, very critical, annual fees. Merchant account providers do not like companies that have annual fees. Why? Because they have a liability for 12 to 18 months. I can actually charge something on my credit card and 10 or 11 months later go back and charge it back to my merchant account company and tell them I returned the product and I never got a credit. The product was not delivered. I don't know if any of you that use Amazon Prime, Amazon doesn't get signatures when they deliver your products at home. And sometimes they disappear. They wanna make sure that you don't have an annual fee that they're gonna be liable for 12 to 18 months. So if you're gonna charge fees to distributors, you should probably looking at charging no more than quarterly fees, preferably monthly fees, but annual fees, that's gonna get a kickback from the merchant account company. The other thing they're gonna to wanna to look for <clears throat> and if you look at my data security video uh, training that I did earlier, you'll see me talk about SSL and security. I'm not going to go really deep into that today, but basically your website where people are putting in their credit cards, they're putting in their privacy, personal information, their addresses, uh, their tax IDs, their usernames and passwords, there needs to be an SSL on those websites. I know this is a lot of information, but I can tell you that in doing this business for 20 years and in launching over a thousand companies, I've seen a lot of companies not get a merchant account because they didn't have one or two of these little things. So make sure that whatever software company you're working with, whatever web design company you're working with, that they've put these things in place, not only as documents on your website, but most likely when your customers are signing up for your products, your services, your auto ships, or your distributors are signing up, most merchant account these days, they want, or merchant account companies, they want a little checkbox that as a customer, as a distributor, I've agreed to the terms and conditions, the privacy policy, the refund policy, the shipping policy, which I didn't talk about. The merchant account companies want to see a shipping policy. So make sure that this information is in your website. Make sure that your software provider knows about this information. Your website designer knows about this information. I know this is a lot of information to absorb. I know when I got started in this industry, it was a lot of information to absorb and consistently more things are being added in for this information to be absorbed. If you have some questions, if you think I can help you with this, do me a favor, reach out to me, send me an email. My phone number is on this page. Give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help you navigate through some of this heavy lifting. Hey, I hope you got some value from this today. If you did, do me a favor, like it and share it with others. And hey, we'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day.